Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farm Evil Extreme here. Here we are with a new boss to drop today on the 6th of November 2024. And oh boy, we got some banger mods today. Mainly one person that is the Mustangs here. However, that's going to be looked at later on. As always, time size will be down below. And if you haven't left a like or shared or subscribed to the channel, then please do. As it helps the channel a lot. But anyway, so as always, time size will be down below. And what I'm going to do first of all is go over some of the updates I thought were noteworthy to mention. Mainly because I had a lot of the updates set up. About to record that, and then boom, new mods and that. So, finally a day of new mods. But without further ado, let's get cracking on. Starting off with the decorative collectibles. This is by Sigor Hishnilik. Change of 1.001. Bought with farmland attributes being added, can be renamed attributes being added, added placement sound, and added brand change. So, these are one slots on console, find under decorations and others. And there you go, so you place it down. I should have, maybe it's more of a thing where you. I'm not sure what it's placed out, it says about the can, or sorry, the placement sound. I think maybe before it just wasn't no sound when you place it down, I'm not too sure. But anyway, you see, yeah, this is the GDD base game collectibles and that as a decorative item that, so... Obviously, these were, like, fine on Elm Creek now. But anyway, so... That is the decorative collectibles by Zigor Nielik. Next. Now for the Little 600L. This is by Quirty PL at Patologia. This is 4.04 megabytes download. To download. Change log 1.001. And it is new colors and a new PTO has been added. So this is a fertilizer spreader that can do fertilizer and lime. So that count is 3 goose down to a 1. And there you go, 600L, 4.5 grand, 6 or 1,000 liters, depending on what you want to go with. But yeah, so you've got new colors, reds 1, 2, and 3. So that will change the bottom the main color. Then you've got your blues, greens. And then your blacks. However, with these ones here, so these ones on top, these can have the sort of kind of like lime green almost. So, yeah, for again, a little worth you mention. Two from years wide at 11 miles an hour. And yeah, mention three slots. Goes down to one. But, anyways, yeah, full quick worth mentioning. Anyways, that is the Lizard 600L by QWERTY PL as Patologia. Next. And, yeah, I wasn't sure why not to include this or not, because this is a... This is a 600kg by Cookson and Bionic2137. And it says version 1 on the mod hub in that, and I recall doing this mod review very recently. However, I think the difference is the update in that. I think it's a changelog thing, because... I think before that, yeah, it was like the lights wasn't there. The one secrets in that wasn't there. Maybe the 600kg was there. But yeah, I recall seeing this because I thought, you know, when I reviewed this recently, I thought, yeah, a worthy update would have been have the added animations of it rolled in that. And yep, yeah, I'm checking out on the mod hub right now, and yeah, this is a pretty much been a read up upload in that, so I guess it got removed in that. But anyway, so find this under weight, so go down to your weights, go towards the end. Obviously, it's a 600, 600 kilogram weight. So count is 2 goes down to 1, so yeah, got your stickers, yes or no, link balls, so that's going to be on the rear, front horn lights, yes or no, I think they, yeah, they were there before, the side ones were there before, and along with the little back working lights, have any little front pod lights, I didn't recall seeing them before that, so I think that's a new one, colours is the lizard red, and a base game colour palette, so yeah, that changes that, and then that changes that. But anyway, so yeah, that is a Lizard 600 kg by Cookson and Bonic 2137. Not too sure about this, but I thought give it a review mention. Next. Now for our second SAS update I thought was worth mentioning. This is the Agricultural Fair by Shenben. 4.43 megabytes to download, and change log 1.2 is added the Correction to our self for fertilizer and that because 
yeah, I recall seeing this on other maps as required mods now, and when I made these map tours, oh yeah, I was like, yeah, I wish you could actually sell your fertilizer in that, but yeah, this has been corrected, and I've just seen the trigger for it. There we go, trigger sort there in the middle. But yeah, slot count is, yeah, lost a loop for it. Yeah, I think it was like five slots on console, something like that. It goes down to one, obviously. But yeah, see, there you go. Obviously, sets your fertilizer. So yeah, I thought, you know, a worthy mention. But yeah, so that is the Agricultural Fair by Shenben. And now on to our final quick update, thought worth going over before we head on to our new mods for today. And here we are at the store, and this is going to be the update to the Sidekin Static Line Pack by DD Mod Passion. Changelog 1.002, and it says active display to for, for the fill level has been added, as well as improved textures and that. And I've got to say, I've noticed the texture improvements because I very recently, as of yesterday, doing a mod review, recorded an episode on my 10,000 cow challenge, and yeah, the texture difference is more noticeable. Also, you've got your digital display over here. So you've got 3,000 euros of TMR. And yeah, this can be found under animals. So yeah, you've got these and that. And then you've got your header tray and that for it, or the, your tray for it to transport around. Also, it goes from 30 to 10 million liters, depending on what you want. So 30, 3,000 liters, 1 million, or one ha oh, sorry, 10 million liters. Same for the pig food. And then, yeah, you do have one, obviously, if you want to make your own TMR, at no price of a difference that. So these are six slots, goes down to one. Header trailer goes, it's going to be one slot. But yeah, so a full quick worth mentioning. But anyway, so it's the Solid King Static Line Pack by DD Mod Passion. That's our mod updates covered for today, I thought was worth mentioning. And now let's head on to our new mods for today. Starting off, we've got the John Deere Weights Pack. This is by... Sigor the Nidek, so the one I mentioned earlier about the 600 kilogram weight. But anyways, this is 0 0.67 megabytes of download, and obviously what we've got here is a pack of three John Deere weights, so 900, 1,150, and 1,800 kilograms respectively. Some color configurations in that are available in that. But yeah, these are some rocking mods in that, so 900 kilograms will set you 950, 1240, 1150, and 1940, 1800 kilogram respectively. So, yeah, good configuration. So, yeah, not many in that. So, this is going to be the attacher. So, again, how you like your link balls in that, all the pins. Colors, got John Deere black or John Deere green. And that is it. But, yeah, when I said these are some rocking mods in that, because when you go for attach these, now, usually when it comes to weights in that, they all attach fine, so... Okay, uh, yeah, it's not doing it for this one here. But if you go with this one over here... Actually, have I got the right weight? Yeah, I have, yep. So if you go for the one here that doesn't have the linkage, or upper linkage option, so... So yeah, actually, yeah. Also, yeah, configurations for small ones. You've got the options to have the hook or normal version. So yeah, when you set, select the upper, just, oh, sorry. When you select the hook option, so basically, without the third thing there to attach to, which is going to be here, this little rock had to move about, which, is that a new thing? Or, because yeah, I don't recall seeing this and that on other mods and that, but yeah, for you know, it'll, Nice little where you mentioned that. You know, nice little rocking and rolling. But yeah, performs well. Sort of see, it's lowering the John Deere at the front. So, nice little quality mod. And as I mentioned, these are two slots on console. Goes down to one once you purchase them. But anyways, that is the John Deere Weeks Pack by Zigor Nielek. Next. And from one John Deere weight to another semi John Deere weight, we've got the Lizard VL front weight. This is by Ferra BDN, 2.68 megabytes to download. Slot count is 2, goes down to 1. And yeah, what we've got here is a weight that is 800 kilograms. So yeah, 800 kilograms, 2 slots goes down to 1. 
And you got a couple of options in that. So for your design, you got standard, custom, and then yeah, you got your own brands in a way. Because yeah, you got, you got the full one John Deere green. But then you got your Fent, New Holland case, where the, the colours and that are just absolute nowhere to be seen. Oh yeah, so it's the difference between the standard and the custom is you can customise this and that. So, for example, you can have John Deere there, new plates, and then go for a black and a red. So the red, that's going to be for the, yeah, go for the long hitch pin. That's going to do that. So yeah, it's really more of a John Deere weight, but it has customization for other weights are available now, or other brands. But yeah, for you know, Nice little thing there. So I've got the number one there. And obviously with this you can pivot it, raise it and lower it as you see. And then yeah, if I go on to the upper one, or the one that's got a high hitch. There you go. Raise and lower that as you wish. Or you can just do it like that, right? Press an L1 circle on the PlayStation. Yeah, actually I want to go back onto that one again. I'm not sure why we've got that here and that maybe it's because of an attachment because yeah it looks like because yeah that would be like the pin hook and that for your trays and that so yeah actually a bit of an interesting one there but anyways yeah I think that means it allows you to attach the higher pins on the back so if the pin hook and that is higher than what is normally in that Actually, I'm not sure if there's a tray that is quite high like that. Because, yeah, even like the basic one there, that's quite low now. that. So, yeah, I'm not too sure of that. I haven't come across an issue where I need a higher pin or higher hitch pin. But anyways, that is the Lizard VL front weight by Ferra BDN. Next. Now for the Force Schritt B365-A03. This is by Kawakowski. 9.7 megabytes to download, and what we've got here is a 3 meter cultivator, of course. Not like we've got plenty of those, but I'm joking, I'm joking. But anyway, so, yep, 3 meter cultivator, so you'll find this on your tools. Cultivators go towards the end. And yeah, this one here is sort of basically it's like a design to be a heavy duty cultivator. Requires 100 horsepower, weighs 1.2 tons. Slot count is 5 goes down to 1, not sure if I already mentioned that. 3 meters worker width, obviously, at 9 miles an hour. But yeah, so you've got an option to have a roller on the back, with or without the reflectors. So I'm going to keep that enabled set, because that's going to help us with the color configurations. Decals, yes or no. And I think that's going to be more for, yeah, like at the front of that. So yes, oh sorry, yes, worn or no. And oh yeah, on the arm as well. Yeah, besides from that, not at the rear, nothing like that. Anywho, wheels on the right, left, or both, or none at all. So it's going to be like a guide in that. So you got your frame color, so that's going to change your frame. So yeah, an older green, or just a bit more old, older or a bit more modern. The roller color is going to change, obviously, the roller frame in that. Sorry, not roller. I meant roller frame, not roller as in just the roller here and yeah for the roller itself yeah you can change the same color configurations and then yeah so the tires or oh, sorry the time sorry so the little sickle that goes into the ground yep yeah, same colors as that so yeah, let's hop into our john deere here because i want to quickly test the two that you now see if we get a rolling effect in that so we've got a freshly plowed field here Ignore anything on sign air. Yeah, I forgot to fast forward time here when I set up my new test map here on the PS5. But so, yeah, no other controls, raise and lower. And off the way we go. Gotta say, it actually does quite well, actually, to be fair on that. Sorry, I'm the me press the horn there. Yeah, because we're see you doing a nice cultivation, you can tell the difference in the textures. Now we'll go on to the one that's got the roller and see how that performs. So there we go, we've got the one with the roller and I just adjusted the audio for the in-game that because yeah, I had it quite low for some reason. 
But anyway, so go and lower it. And yeah, again, just quick check of controls. Yeah, nothing for there to be seen. And we are cultivating, and are we having that rolling effect? See, so yeah, that's the cultivating with the roller. And that's just the cultivating and... Having a look at the soil. Yeah, no difference whatsoever. I think it's just more of a... Visual thing, or just a visual reason thing that. So, if I go to my what needs rolling... Oh yeah, obviously we won't have that. Actually, yeah, none of my crops needed rolling, so that's a bit of a poorly set up me on my part on that. Anyways, so that you know, nice quality model on that. So yeah, you can customize this to be a bit more modern or a bit more old school. At the end of the day, it's going to be an old, reliable 3 meter cultivator. But anyway, that is the force switch B365-A03 by Kowalkowski. Next. Now we've got Tim. Tim is a very reliable person, but anyways. Joking aside, we've got the Lizard Tim PSK4 Display View Deck. 3.55 megabytes to download, and what it says, it's a 3.6 meter cedar with or without the option to have a fertilizer tank on top. So, capacity is 250 liters with the seeds. If you want the fertilizer on top, that's going to be an additional 400 liter capacity you can have. But anyways, you can find this under your tools, under cedars. So there we go, go towards the end. And there we go, actually no, under planters. Yeah, under planters, not cedars, apologies there. But yeah, so you've got your standard, or with or without the furrows of box. It doesn't add any weight, adds the extra 400 liters capacity. Of course, just 40 horsepower, stock count is three, goes down to one. Apologies there, a little burp. But yeah, no color configurations or anything like that, so... But yeah, this is a planter, I can you plant your planting kind of crops in that. So let's just select a random one. There we go, sugar beet. On to your freshly plowed fields. But yeah, so yeah, four and a half grand swell. This is going to be more for like your small scale, kind of like vintage, kind of old school farming. And there we go. Obviously, you're getting the four furrows there. You know, these are that drill marking at. And I should say it's got a nice sound to it as well, to be fair. But yeah, turn it off. Turn off with your other controls. There is none. Obviously, you can offload if you wish. But, anyways, yeah, very simple mod. Nice quality. I love actually the detail of it in that. It does the job in that. Very simplistic in that, but again, does the job, that's all that matters, especially when you're doing small scale farming. Just need something reliable, well done, and yeah, this is going to be it. But anyway, so that is the Lizard Tim PSK4 by Vulek. Now on to our two vehicles for today. And before we get into the Mustangs, baby, we've got the Lizard V340 Flat Auto Load. This is by Vico Mods. 14.82 megabytes to download. Slot count is 8, goes down to 1. And yeah, I think the auto load is semi misleading. And I'm saying that because it's a semi auto load. So, what I mean is, you can auto load your bells on. However, you can't you can unload them, but you can't unload them onto the ground. So, I thought, you know, just a quick worth mentioning that. And I tested this with different bells types and that, because like, it's very limited on what it takes. It's only square bells. And standard size bells, not on this, you know, times nine capacity bells. However, I'm getting ahead of myself here, so you'll find this under your, I think it's bell loaders, no, sorry, trucks and that. So 26 and 32 gram, respectively. So you got a 4x2 and a 6x4 wheel addition. Yeah, 9.5, 9.9 tons, respectively. So one can do 15 bells, the other one can do 20. And as you can see, 180 to 247 meter square bells. So yeah, configuration is going to be pretty much the same in that. So yeah, engine setup in that, you got your 8 litre, 340, oh sorry, was that 340? Yeah, 340, 485, 12.3 litre, and then you for your turbos in that, 5 points, sorry, 570 horsepower for your 14.7 litres, your 6 litres, 650, and then you got your turbo 740 with 18 litres, and then back to your 340 standard that. 
window. So yeah, there's going to be this here. So yeah, just different tints and that. The, the, the different film and that. Auto load, yes or no. So that means you can auto load or not auto the bells. And then your side lights got no or yes. So that's going to be on the door of the cab. Fenders. No or yes. So that's going to be on the rear wheels. Like so. And then your bumper is going to be at the front. So you got standard. One, two, three, four, five. Back to standard. Then you got your grid. So it's going to be grid here on the front. So standard or your grid. Grid two, grid three. Yeah, just like the chrome or different kind of chrome and all that. With or without the, there's a brand. I think in real life this is like a Volvo V, yeah, I think it's a Volvo V340, obviously, in that. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to leave there. So, yeah, that's a grid. Tank and exhaust and that, so it's going to change the colours and that. So, chrome, black and chrome, or just chrome all the way around. Or even standard, standard for all black. And then you've got your additional features on the cab, that is standard. Additional one, so that's going to be the rear, sorry, front visor. So additional two, it's going to be some lights on top of the cab. Three, it's going to be your, like, your train horns. Four, is the train horns with the lights. Five, is all that together. And then, yeah, just sort of different configurations. And then seven, is for the whole shabam in one. Attachers, no or yes, so that's going to be at the rear of the tra or trailer net or the lorry. Yeah, I think that's a pin hook by the looks of it. Yeah, a pin hook attacher. Main color, so you got a lot of color options here. So different kind of metallic, different kind of polish, pearls, standard colors and that. So yeah, <clears throat> the red's going to do the cab. Design's going to do the edges of the bonnet and that. So let's go with... A nice hot pink, as always. I should change that to an orange. Yeah, blue, that's better, that on the eyes. Design colour 3, that's going to be for your seats. And then the last design colour is going to be for your door card there on the inside of the cab. Then go your rims, so it's going to be down here. Change that to a nice green. And that's it, apart from your licence plate, so... So yeah, these do sound... Pretty right, like you know, the normal 8 liter horn. Uh, there is no beacon lights to be seen off. Indicator left, right, turn around. There we go. But yeah, so if I go to the car, like, I'm pressing like R1 right stick and that. That's gonna adjust the mirrors and that, so that's gonna do that. That's going to do that. There we go, look at that. You can see the... Actually, that looks quite nice, that does. No, mirrors actually work. Ah, that's it. Yeah, the little ones do that. But yeah, when I say it's a semi auto load trailer, because yeah, I've got nothing auto load on. You've got straps and that. They do strap for height at least. But yeah, so if I put it into operating mode, that auto loads the bells and that. However, if I say unload, there's no like, control where it goes and that, so it's so just a case of yes, you can auto load. But yeah, this is going to be more for your transportation to like, your cell points and that. So yeah, also let's quickly shake these off and that because these do have a reasonable pickup range and that, so reset it, operating position, head across, and you sort of see that yeah, it's picking up from. So yeah, a fair bit away in that, so you, know, you don't have to go super close, super tight, just stay within the ballpark in that. Sorry, Deco toy to toys there. But yeah, so the normal one handles pretty well. Turn that off, and then yeah. Obviously, yeah, got your bigger engine. Got the obviously like the turbo wine, of course. And yeah, it just has a good get up and go. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have a hill climb test on this map. And that I may add one down the road, but yeah, FS25 FS coming out next week, so yeah, we're still gonna get mods. And that there are some mods coming in. I know FS Escaping and Chris S and right yesterday, I've got some mods or mods, one mod being uh, what's it updating that for each of their own individual mods and that. And yeah, that's been tested and it's been completed as of today, so 
Obviously, they haven't been released today in that, so I really haven't got around to it, or it's failed tests in that. But, you know, I was just driving around, thought, you know, quick, quickly mention that. But yeah, it's got to say, it performs well in that, inside the cab. It looks rather nice. So you've got your door card there on the right, seat color being customized. And then, yeah, it's got a whole uh, beauty there of the details. But anyway, so yeah, that is the Volvo. Sorry, not the Volvo. This is a V340 flatbed also, though. So, yeah, it's the same with also trailer in that, or the also trailer in the way that is you take this to a sell point, and then that is it. So, actually, before we move along to our final model of the day, let's quickly add this. So, how does this perform now? So, obviously, bells are auto loaded. Uh, apologies there, yep, controller died in that, so yeah, apologies, so let's go and unload. Yeah, sort of see, bells are being accepted. Because, yeah, straight away, yeah, it doesn't really seem to take it straight away in that. Yeah, see, nothing's been attached to in that, so... Yeah, a bit iffy with the cell in that, and yeah, I've used the cell points all the time. And I've never had any issues in that with comes to selling my bells in that. So yeah, it did do so through there okay, alright, but yeah, it's not doing all of them just fine, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a damn mark on the model than that. You know, just issues with, I think at the end of the day, that it's meant to be designed for, you know, you auto load it in the field, come back to your farm and that, and then, oh sorry, there are hiccups again, you actually, yeah, offload it yourself with a tailander or whatever in that, bell grabber in that. But anyway, so that is the Lizard of V340 flatbed auto load by Vinko Mods. Next. And now for our final model of the day, we got the Lizard Mustang for Mustang, aka Eleanor. Now, if you know by the film Gone 60 Seconds. But anyway, so this is Lizard Mustang by Agritono, as always. 15.57 megabits download, them slots on console, and yeah, so let's see what I've got here up front. That this is a yeah, I am excited by this. That good old American V8 horsepower in that. Even as a Brit, I love the sound of the V8. I love the look of the V8s. Make V8s great again. But anyways, go find this under your cars. Go towards the end. Starting price is twenty-eight grand. So yeah, no, uh, sorry, normal specs is 320 horsepower, 120 liters in fuel, top speed of 129 miles an hour, weighs one and a half tons. And does have a tone capacity tone capacity of 1.6 tons, so just as a get off now there is a ton of configuration, so feel free to skip ahead to the test drive now because I'm going over all the configurations. Starting off with the fenders. So you've got standard, plastic fenders, colour fenders, and that. All the brands got continental, so yeah, you got rim model one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And back to one. Personally, I love that. You know, just the old pop caps and that. I think it's no, it's not called the pop caps and that, but that's how I call it. Then you got your different brands of Continental. So you got your normal tires, a bit more of a chunkier boy. And then you got white walls, got a bit more of a off roads there for your Michelin's. And then you're back to your Continental's now. So you got white walls and that. We got white walls, baby. But yeah, so yeah, that's that. That's the real setup. Now for the bumper, so it's going to be at the front and the rear. So, oh no, sorry, that is just the front bumper. Now we've got the rear bumper later on. So you go back to standards. There we go. So yeah, uh, where is it to? There we go. Model one, that. Model one. Then you got your model one without the bumper detail. So that's just that little bit there at the bottom. Bumper one, or sorry, model one without the bumper, so you'll go with a nice clean line. You know, none of this American explosive California compliant bumpers and that. God, California, you do know how to ruin cars and that with your explosive bumpers and that. Yes, I know they're meant to be for pedestrian protections, but they do ruin the look of this a beauty here. Then, yeah, anyways, you got your model one with a front dip, model one without the bumper detail. Plus the front dip, then your model one without the bumper with the front dip. Then you got your model two. So yeah, just a slightly different look at that. 
So yeah, same Aussie options there. And this is like what I love. I kind of like stock hard look of it and that. Model 3. There you go, Model 3 with the lights. And then, yeah, back to Model 1. So yeah, I'll keep that for now. Yeah, because I do love those little spotlights and that. Dashboard, that's going to be inside the car. Obviously, you can't reset too much, but you got your carbon fiber, got your wood, and then your black dash. Front part, so standard. Without the lights. Logo support, so. I can't actually see the logo support part. But anyway, see, so yeah, you got your side lights. Ah, uh, yeah, so yeah, side light there is at the front. Side lights with the low support, central light without the details, front two, front two without lights and logo support and that. And then back to standard. So yeah, just going over those because yeah, it seems to be speaking all the time, but <laughs> actually this why do I weirdly like it? No it's not what most people like, but I kind of like that look of it. Anyways, before I upset more people. Onto the rear bumper and that, onto that ass. <laughs> yeah, got a Model 1. Model, Model 1 with the ducktail. Model 1 with the colour rear. So that's going to be the, yeah, rear spoiler and that. Then yeah, got a whole different kind of look to it. Nice little lip to it. And yeah, back to your Model 1. So, feels to me, personally, I do like that kind of, you know, again, that stock car looking miniature NASCAR rear spoiler and that. And then onto the exhaust. So you got rear with chrome sides. Rear with curved sides. So uh, that's gonna be your side skirts. Side side exhaust. Rear exhaust with chrome sides. Rear exhaust with curved sides. Side exhaust. And uh, yeah that's it actually. Sorry I think I may have said that already twice but Anywho, onto your intakes here on the side. So you got your lower model one and upper model one. Then you got your upper model two, lower model two, and then a mixture of both, and then back to just lower and upper model ones. I do love that flared intake in that. That do I like that? In that it's not as sleek, I admit. But you know, for a performance race car, in that I do love. Now on to the beauty of the hood and that, got your Model 1, Model 2, Model 3, have a nice little loose cone, or just want to see the beauty of the engine without the hood and that, just, not just pop the hood, just remove it entirely. And then, moving now, we got your spoilers and the blinds at the rear and that, so yeah, standard, cut spoiler, carbon fiber, and then you got your blinds, that's going to cover the obviously the rear glass. Spoiler with the blind and then uh, so on. Then into the cap here, we got your steering wheel. So you got your black steering wheel, wooden steering wheel, black steering wheel with a full central console. So you can see there it adds that central console. And then you got the options to have Aussie with the wooden wheels if you wish. Attachers at the rear is just going to be without or with that, uh, yeah, ugly kind of bumper hitch and that. I guess in real life it makes sense in that, but. Anywho, axe whip, so now you can make this have a wider from stance, so axe whip 1, which is your standard, with 2, slightly wider, 3, 4, and then back to 1, so you can properly extend those axles in that if you wish, and then your window film, standard, smoke 1, smoke 2, smoke 3, and back to standard, oh sorry, didn't mean to go back there, so where are we at? At two, yeah, smoke film and that, so that's that covered. Now for your cabin light, so there we go, got your grill, sorry, grill with the lights, just your LED bar, standard, and uh, so on, and then you yeah, got your stripes and your front grill. So yeah, go for the full one Shelby stripes almost, I think. Yeah, obviously I think it's one easy to get the full one including down the side. So you've got the front side. Yeah, I think it's starting to lag a little bit now. 
and you get chrome grill at the front without the stripes and yeah, then you got your full stripes with that delicious chrome grill and then yeah and so on <laughs> so yeah that is all the color configurations I'm sorry all the configurations now on to your colors so yeah why is it where's he lagging now not too sure but yeah you got all the colors now not just your base game the full on custom so yeah not sure why this is worthy really lagging out on the ps5 but yeah so got obviously like the class green and that got a monster kind of version of this on to my personal favorites you got the delicious light blue and then, yeah you got also your, your dark darker blues menjols and that yeah that's actually ice it's called cool, weirdly and then yeah got all your different kind of color so go with a yellow if you want so yeah I'm not sure why I'm having lag issues in store and I'm not saving and reloading because I don't want to ruin the ground textures and that so I've already done so yeah you got your bumper colors in there got your stripe that can be changed and then along with your rims so got a full on shabam so got a nice little section here all pretty much exactly the same but I think I'm gonna go with uh, this one here with a full one shabam setup in that. Actually, I'll go with the other one because there is a animation for the hood. As you can see here, so yeah, got control group, suspension, and hood. So L1, L1, R1, right stick, up and down does that. And then right, R1, right stick, left to right, raises and lowers the rear of the car. And then right stick up and down actually just brings the whole thing up so that i kind of like so like i've done over here now you know it's got a full on slam look of it you know side exhaust obviously there's gonna be no beacons but oh look at that nice indicators not sure where we are at front oh there we go yep yeah. at the bottom there But yeah, just, just listen to his engine sec. So I'm gonna stop this and then just have a little fun. So race across the farm here. So let's go this way. Yeah, just hear that engine roar. That is an absolute uh, beauty of a sound. And gets even better than that. Just look at this interior. It is absolutely beautiful. Ignore all the fine bushes and that coming in. And yeah, as an American car, it doesn't really handle all that well. But don't worry, I'm a professional former sim racer in that. So I can team this beast. So... Yeah, we're just power sliding. I'm not even steering, I am. In a straight line, and I'm just power sliding. <laughs> it's, it's got a lot of torque, as for sure, Nat. But anyways, back over here, Nat. So, yeah, you know, got a nice, awesome interior, Nat. Not too clustered with, you know, all the control groups. But yeah, you do have control groups interior, Nat. So, just again, minor ones of that. So, L1, R1. Sorry, it's getting in position. Left stick, right to left to right, does that. Raises and lowers the steering column. Right stick, right stick, up and down, does that. Raises and lowers your seat position. And then left to right does your how forward you would bring the seat. And then lastly, right stick, left to right, does the mirror. So you can have a proper full one there. So if I bring myself back up. This did work in testing, it did. There we go. And maybe it's because of the angle. There we go. That's better. Now we can actually see where you're going. So that is pro that, that, that's just there alone. And actually see the rear where I'm going now. You know, probably has been proper adjusted. But yeah, I absolutely love this. So yeah, it's like the standard look of it. But yeah, I do love the like this one here as well. I absolutely love this. So 
Ah, just that spittiness of the little snare, that is absolute... Mm. Especially when you go, like, say, so yeah, lure it. And then just raise that rear end of that. Have that more of an angrier firm stance. Obviously, when you do this, it will have an impact on the suspension at. See, so yeah, if I just slam everything down and go, obviously, it has a certain amount of body movement in that. Obviously, you can't do too much because all the wheels are catching on the arches. Oh, yeah, if I just raise the old suspension entirely, yeah, and actually turn that reasonably in that, so you know, just jack everything up in that. Obviously, where you have that asset in that will have an impact on spitting in that as well, but overall, in that good quality mod. I am waffling on as I always do in my mod review, so this is why I think five mods could turn into a full on hour video in that, so. Awesome on that, I'm just absolutely in love with the Stang Net. But anyway, that is all one more today. This has been the Lizard Bus Stang by Agritono. So yeah, it's gonna be out sometime this evening. I've got a lot of stuff to do this evening that, so this is gonna be top priority. And I think at the moment I've got let's have a quick look now. I like to say four videos ready to go at the moment. Oh no, sorry, three ready to go. One I've recorded that's gonna be edited edited and up for tomorrow. I've got to record today's the long trailer and a breakdown of that because I went early on I tested the copyright system and got flagged straight away so and that's that I'll try to get around to it if not I'll contact giants but anyway so that's just enough waffling on for me. As always hope you enjoyed some more reviews hope you found these helpful and informative in some way shape or form. If so smash the button Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you're not if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's me from Everwick Stream, and I'll see you all uh, very soon.